big wave surfers Ross Clark Jones and Tom Carroll are racing to leave in time. With the end of the season near, this is an opportunity they can't miss. Packed, they head off on the 320 kilometre journey to the south coast. Under the cover of darkness, the five metre waves are starting to hit. Ross and Tom arrive just before daybreak. They want to get as much out of this swell as they can before it drops and before the other surfers turn up. We're here at 6.06 in the morning on the south coast of New South Wales. Tom's been freaking around as usual, looking at the planets aligning, and um, apparently it's only time in a thousand years. Yeah, apparently. Uh, uh, it's, it's full really, moon too. Full moon, yeah, really nice. Joining them is local big wave charger, Paul Morgan. Hey. Hey. There you go, mate. I hope we just get these eight to 10 foot, just double up square barrels. Yeah. With only a few weeks left of the winter season, Ross and Tom are chasing down every possible swell that reaches Australia's coastline. But today, they're not alone. Even down here on the south coast, 320 kilometres from the city, there are plenty of other surfers keen to catch the last big waves of the season. Today, Ross and Tom are going to have to share. Conditions are perfect. There's no wind and pristine 12-foot surf. But this wave has a bite. Breaking on a shallow rock reef four miles from shore, the South Coast bombing delivers more power per cubic inch than any other wave in the area. It requires perfect positioning to get it right. Let's go, let's go, Ross. Well, come on. Ross is eager to get into it. Oh, yeah, this one. Go, 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 go! But with his back to the wave, it's harder for him to get in the right position. Tom races in to grab him before the next wave hits. Oh, quick, quick. Go, go, go. As a solid set approaches, Ross and Tom swap places. Yep, yep. Stop, stop, stop. Tom surfs with a goofy foot stance, giving him a distinct advantage over Ross in the left-hand barrels. Paul Morgan lines up next. Here we go. Here goes Morg. Here goes Morg. Paul's local knowledge means he knows how to draw the perfect line. <laughs> Not to be outdone, it's now Ross's turn for redemption. The swell isn't letting up, and it's Paul who continues to be in the right place at the right time. The guys that I've come across here on the south coast, they just seem to know instantly, you know, how this wave is going to behave. The young up-and-coming big wave surfer is starting to make a name for himself. Paul Morgan especially, he's sort of like the eyes in the back of his head. He's super, super alert. I mean, they've got huge futures in big wave surfing. They've got a long time to go. They've, they've got the right attitude. They love it. They're cool about it. I enjoy surfing with them. With the young guns on fire, Tom grabs the rope. Go, 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 go. Look at this one. The next wave rears. He's in the perfect position for another tube. But slipping on his board, Tom's hammered by the falling lip. 